With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so our question is 100 gram of ice at 0 degree Celsius is mixed with 10 gram of the steam at 100 degree Celsius. Find the final temperature and composition. Okay, so we have been given 100 gram of ice mixed with 10 gram of steam which is maintained at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. We have to find the final temperature and the composition of the mixture. Okay, so what will happen is when 100 gram of ice at 0 degrees Celsius mixed with the steam at 100 degrees Celsius, then heat will be lo lost from the steam and that will be gained by the ice. Okay, so using that heat the ice will melt now to find that what will be the composition that or what will be the amount of ice that will melt using the heat provided by the steam we can find the final temperature and the composition of the mixture so to find it first of all let us find that what will be the heat required to melt 100 gram of ice at 0 degree celsius okay so the heat required to melt ice at 0 degree celsius will be q1 that will be given as mass into latent heat okay now the mass is given to us as 100 grams into latent heat is 80 calorie per gram so from here we will get as 8000 calorie so this much of amount of heat will be required to melt 100 gram of ice at 0 degree celsius okay now let us find that how much heat will be required to raise the temperature of water from 0 to 100 degree celsius so this will be equals to q2 that will be given as mass into a specific heat of water into change in temperature so the mass is 100 gram which will melt into a specific heat of water is one calorie per gram per degree celsius and in the change in the temperature is 100 so from here the heat required will come out as 1000 calorie now let us find that how much amount of heat the steam will provide on complete condensation okay so this will be given as mass of steam into latent heat of steam so this will be equals to 10 grams multiplied by latent heat is 540 calorie per gram so this will be equals to 5000 400 calorie now find the heat rejected by the water which is getting condensed from the steam to cool from 100 degree celsius to 0 degree celsius so the heat rejected by water to cool from 100 degree celsius to 0 degree celsius will be given as q4 that is mass of steam which is getting condensed into water into a specific heat of water into change in the temperature so it will be 10 grams multiplied by specific heat of water is one calorie per gram per degree celsius multiplied by change in temperature is 100 degree celsius so from here the heat rejected comes out as 1000 calorie okay so the maximum heat which is supplied by steam to ice at 0 degree celsius will be q3 plus q4 correct so this will be equals to q3 plus q4 that is 5400 plus 1000 calorie so this will be equals to 6400 calorie so this much of amount of the heat will be supplied by steam to the ice at 0 degree celsius so we can see that the maximum heat supplied by the steam is less than the heat which is required by the ice to melt the ice correct therefore the resulting temperature will be 0 degree celsius since heat supplied now since the heat supplied is less therefore what we can conclude that in the resulting mixture there will be ice correct therefore the re resulting mixture temperature or the resulting temperature of mixture resulting temperature of mixture will be 0 degree celsius so we have found the resulting temperature of the mixture now we have to find the composition of the mixture that how much amount of ice or the water it will contain okay now the amount of ice melt will be calculated as heat supplied upon the latent heat so on substituting the values so the heat supplied by the steam was 6400 calorie divided by latent heat was 
80 calorie so this will come out as 80 grams so this much of amount of the ice is getting melted down so the ice remaining in the mixture ice remaining in mixture will be the total amount of ice was 100 gram minus the ice which is melt is 80 gram so it will be 20 grams so, so this much of the ice will remain in the mixture and water present in the mixture can also be written as water in mixture will be equals to the steam which is getting condensed is 10 gram plus the ice which is getting melt into water is 80 grams so this will be equals to 90 grams so this is the composition of the mixture that is 20 gram of ice and 90 gram of water for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and doubt today